All right, the watch list for Wednesday, uh, kind of a cheapie here, RMTI. You had this big move here, and then kind of flagging. Well, it kind of broke out of that last few days, or last uh, week and a half or so, something like that. Anyway, I like it up over this area. I have written down 536, but that's not etched in stone. I do like it. 536 is a break of this two-day high, and it could get moving. So uh, I'm going to keep my eyes on RMTI, SUPN, um, after the gap up on uh, FDA approval I think then it's just sold off all day and a more narrow day um, on Tuesday and so I'm just looking for a potential bounce in that one it's not nothing pretty about it really AOL back down to this 34 support area kind of a doji candle AOL looking for a bounce there TSO nice trade in that one today um, because of the bottoming tail and the volume and other refiners looking for a follow-through on the bounce tomorrow CLF, uh, kind of a green candle there. It's tried. It didn't close near its highs, but anyway, a nice little intraday bounce um, at the 20 day. And you'll notice um, it hasn't broken a previous day's high since it ran up into the 200 day. So, uh, and this, this run here was on earnings. Um, so earnings are behind you, and uh, it may start to bounce here. I like the little bit of a bounce it had today. And, um, you know, we start breaking previous day's highs. We might get a nice run in that one. So, CLF on watch and then uh, I threw Blackberry on watch as well nice green candle today when you go to an intraday basis um, it did 3.73 3 million in the last five minutes um, so something might be up there and uh, certainly it kind of breaking a trend line there on 15s on the five day chart so uh, certainly be watching that for a potential long and uh, that's my short list I don't have a lot of stocks on watch I'm sure I'll find some in the morning when I find uh, unusual volume after the opening bell and gappers as well. So I'll just leave it at that for now. All right. See you later.